Today we are going to tie a killer, killer bug. I'm Tuna, I'm your host, and this, I don't know what this is called, but this is called, we'll just call it Arts and Crafts Time with Tuna. And yes, I am going to tie a killer bug today. For that, we have this nice little kit. You can tie 12 June Kabaris and 12 killer bugs. You're gonna get enough hooks and materials and everything that you need to go and tie some of these flies. So I'm gonna show you how to tie the killer bug. The key component with that <clears throat> is yarn. And I'm starting with this red thread. You could do this killer bug in really lots of different colors. Pink is a pretty popular one, red, kind of a rusty brown. It's another good one. Some people like you fishing these killer bugs as like a caddis larva because now here's something we should get straight. Killer bugs don't really represent anything specific, which is why you could fish it as like a caddis larva. So you get a green one, something like that if you want. And that works really well as like a nice little caddis larva. This one's gonna be kind of pinkish with this red thread. Looks almost like a scud or like a grub or something like that. Um, so I've got my thread wrapped on here. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit more thread over here just towards the front of the hook a little bit so that stuff's material isn't sliding around. Wind it back. Now I'm gonna attach that yarn. I'm gonna keep a little bit of yarn on there just to wrap up towards the eye of the hook and add a little bit of body to this fly. Now if you wanted to get this thing really deep too, you could be adding on some lead at this point. So just get a, you can get lead that comes in a, on a spool like this, different sizes. And you can just do a few wraps on there and that way it's got a lot more weight to it and it'll really get down in the fishy zone. So I got all my yarn on there. Now if I also wanted to attach like a copper wire, like this copper wire I was showing you, I could attach that right now, throw that on the back, and then I would just wrap that on um, right after I wrap this yarn on there. So I'm gonna twist this stuff a little bit, get it nice and tight, because I kind of like to do a little tight one right now. And then really just building up the body. Like if you want to double wrap, start double wrapping to start building a little bit more body. You know, as you're starting to wrap up towards the eye of the hook, then kind of double wrap. And that way you get a little bit more, a little bit more girth. Now, don't want to crowd the eye of the hook now, do we? So... Do a wrap right over I know. Sometimes my, my fly tying techniques are a little wonky, but just bear with me. That thread, or the, the yarn's pretty thick, so I like to get a few good wraps on there. And now, I like to leave a little red head on there too, so get some more wraps, give it a nice red head. I love red heads. My wife's red head. Um, so yeah, I've always just like had a little soft spot in my heart for redheads. Now we whip it because we are done. Last step to this would just be to add a little head cement. You know, what's the right way to whip finish? One, two, three. I don't know. You tell me. Some people, everyone likes to do it a little differently. Okay, that right there is a killer bug. Like I said, little head cement on there just to like make sure everything's real secure. Um, these work great. They work great right below dams, uh, imitating scuds. Like I said, caddis larva. If you wanna add some different things to it, you could add a hackle to it, make like a little soft hackle killer bug. Those work really well too. Add weight to it and get it down in the fishy zone or don't add weight to it and kind of swing it a little bit and see how that works. Thanks for watching everybody. If you guys want to see some more, let me know. Let me know what patterns you want to see and we'll do it or we'll try. I will try. Thank you and good night.